Hello and welcome back to the another video of Python Outlook Automation. So in this Python Outlook Automation video, what we are going to go through is how to read Outlook mail message. So we will read the mailbox inbox of the Outlook account and then we will see how to filter the how to filter mails using the mail message properties like sender, subject, date, time. So there are multiple ways. I will explain about the mail message class restriction properties in a separate video. So, and then we will see how to save attachment in a path. So when we do the automation, email automation, then it is the very common requirement that you have to save attachments which are there in the email on a structured path. So that also we will see. So this was the first video. You can pause the video here and you can have a look. We have seen how to automate Outlook email sending using Python. And then we have also seen how to send the bulk email, how to automate bulk email sending using Python. And then finally, we will see how to extract the email information into a Excel or CSV file. So this is all what we are going to cover. Let me go back to today's agenda now. So this is what we are going to cover today. So I will go to my editor. If you are new to Python then and you want to know how to use PyCharm, which is the editor, you can have a look on video number 95. So all of these topics which you can see right now on your screen, link will be available in the description of this video. Let's start today's agenda now. First of all, we have, we have already installed this win32.client library in the first video of uh, this series. And then now we are creating the instance of Outlook means we are loading the Outlook in the memory here in the second line. Let me show you my Outlook now. So uh, this is my Outlook. I have two different mailboxes added to this. One is this, second is this. So if, okay, I will be working on the second one. So let's say if you have only one mailbox, you don't have multiple mailboxes, you can use this straight line and then you can start working. So when you have to read multiple output outlook mailbox you can define the mailbox and then folder which you want to load in your variable so my variable is here inbox because i want to read inbox so i have kept the relevant name okay so this is the one after you have loaded this inbox it will be so all the inbox items will come into this collection this is a collection and then you can loop on those item one by one so when you are looping on those items in the sense you that means you are loading on emails in your mailbox one by one okay so here i have just pasted the code to save time items i have taken all the items and i have again created one collection here and i will just loop on the collection now so i will be just for the example i will be showing you the subject so what i have done is i have given a filter a property related filter like if the if this this phrase like has subscribed to your youtube channel in the mail dot subject okay so i am filtering here basically then only that subject will be printed let me run and check So you see, I think my all the subscribers or these are the emails in my mailbox. So let me check this. Let me just also check in the Outlook. So I'll just go in inbox. I'll search. So these are the emails which are right now printed. Okay, so hope you understood this part. Like how will you read the email and then how will you how will you read the email using python and how will you loop through each email in your inbox using python win32 so we have already seen like when you are automating your outlook using python how will you filter email based on the subject okay now we will go forward i will just remove these lines i would like to tell you one thing that sometimes you might get errors while reading the mailbox account so if you are getting the error while reading the mailbox account like it's not a valid account or any error so what can be one of the reason which is the, which is the very common reason like you might have the sender email type as, as the exchange email exchange email depends 
on the senders, not your outlook. It is the sender outlook. So if you will print here, I as of now the emails which I have, all of those emails are the SMTP emails. So this is basically SMTP address and this is the exchange address. So if you are getting error while you are trying to go through the emails, you, this might be one of the reason. So I'll just take this part out right now. So now next what I am doing here, like I am filtering the email based on two things. So when you, we do Outlook automation, we have to filter the emails sometime with the partial text in the subject. So in email automation, this is very common thing. So this I have taken plus if the email, so if you want, you can add any other condition also. If you don't want, you can remove this condition also. So two things I am taking, the email should be from this account and the subject should have this. So these are the two things. Now what I will do is I am trying to explain here one more property, which is received time. So in case if you want to put that here, you can put that. Let me run this now. Okay, so you can see these many emails have this phrase in the subject. And I have printed the subject for your reference. And I have printed the date and time when this email was received. So this is how you can also use these properties for filter. One of the most common thing which we see in email automation is saving the attachment. So saving attachment, the attachment into a structure folder. What we have to do, first of all, we have to import one library that is OS operating system that is Python OS. And then we have to see that if so you can use any path. So what I'm trying to do is you can create the path by the sender name. You can create the path, this path by a subject, or you can create this path by, let's say the first part of the email ID. Just remove the special characters. You can use date also. So before creating the a folder, what we are doing, we are checking this path should not exist. So if not os.path.exist, and then your folder path then only we will create a folder otherwise folder is already available and you have to note this indentation so everything here this is the loop inside the loop we have a condition inside the condition we have rest of the code okay so now we have created the folder and we have checked the folder created the folder in the same sequence in this sequence only after creating the folder what we have to do we have to save the attachments what is our mail instance? It is message. So messages, all the emails, message one e one item of the all emails. And then, then from this message, we have to save attachments. So there might be multiple attachments or there might be one attachment. Okay, so we are considering that if you have to save all the attachment. So for that, we have to read message.attachments. So we can loop on all the attachments and then save the files one by one. So this your folder, so this os.get directory. So this os.get directory is to take you to directly in the project folder. So if you are if you are trying to save the attachments and the files are not getting saved. So many times I have seen these kind of posts like we are trying to save the attachments. Code is not giving any error, but the email file is not, the attachment files are not getting saved because Outlook will not take the incomplete path so you have to give the complete path either or if you are saving within the project folder then you have to define this directory okay so this is my project folder you can see there is no folder as this name your folder so this folder will be created when we will run this code and so there is a small correction i have to just keep it here like this so First of all, folder uh, project directory and then your path inside your path. It is the file name. So let's this let's run this code now. So execution is done. Let's go and check if the folder is created. So you have this folder. You can see the timing 1155 and you can see the timing here also. 
okay let's go inside this folder now so you have all the files which were there in these three emails so i will just so i will just show you the emails now and we have used these emails in the previous videos of on my youtube channel so this is the email this is the email this is the email so you can see these are the files which are saved here all right so this is how you can automate your outlook work you can read the mailbox automatically using python you can filter the e emails when using when you are doing the automation using python and you can save the attachment when you are doing automation using so we, we will continue this and we have more videos where i will filter the emails extract all the information who is in cc who is in bcc so for all those things please subscribe to the channel and watch my next video